this is an exercise that you're really going to have to focus on and get that mind muscle connection because you know you can cheat on it All right, guys, Mark McKillier here with Live Anabolic, and I got a fantastic topic for you today. And guess what? Laura is going to tell us what she thinks women's favorite body parts are on men. And I've asked her, what are the three muscle groups that women are attracted to most? What do you guys look at when, when you see a hot looking guy walking by, or even a not hot looking guy? What are you looking for? Arms, butt, and back. I love it. <laughs> All right, so those are the three body parts we're going to talk about today, and Laura's going to show you some of her favorite exercises for arms, butt, and back, and I'm going to show you my favorite exercise for those three muscle groups. All right, so the very first muscle group we're going to be talking about is arms, and when it comes to arms, almost everybody automatically thinks biceps all right so Laura is going to show you her favorite bicep exercise but before she does that I want you to realize that she's a competitor so she's not just some really fit good-looking 41 year old mom of three kids she's actually walked on stage before so she knows her stuff and I see her working out all the time and I mean she hits it hard so <laughs> show us what you want to do Okay. As far as, as you know, hitting biceps. My favorite bicep is the bicep curl, favorite exercise. Um, and so what you do, I usually use about 15 pound weights. And I like to hold the weights where my arms or my hands are closest to me. And as I lift the weights up, I like to keep my elbows close by my side and kind of rotate my arms out. And you can see my bicep kind of engage more as I do that. All right, so guys, I want you to notice, just kind of keep on knocking these out. I'm gonna, I wanna talk about it. She is twisting her wrists as she brings those dumbbells up. So as she brings them down, her hands are pointing towards her thighs. Her palms are pointed inward in a neutral position. And as she brings the dumbbells up, she actually rotates her wrists so that her palms are facing up at the top of the movement, okay? Now when you do that, the way she's doing it, it engages more muscle fibers, okay? A higher percentage of your biceps muscles get used. Now the other thing I want you to notice is, look at her form, all right? She's not yanking those dumbbells up, she's not swinging them up, and she's not using her back, okay? She is really controlling that weight not just on the way up, but she's controlling it on the way down. That's just as important, guys. All right, so Laura shows you how to do her favorite exercise for biceps. Now, remember, the muscle group that women think are really hot is arms, not biceps, arms. All right, so the back of your arm, your triceps, are a bigger percentage of your overall arm mass than your biceps. And Everybody forgets that, all right? Everybody likes to flex, you know, that, so they're doing curls all day, and then they neglect their tri triceps. And guess what? That means your arms don't look nearly as big as they could. So this is my favorite exercise for working triceps, and that is a banded tricep push down, all right? So we gotta, we gotta put the anchor up at the top of the door here, guys. And then I'm gonna show you the form, and this is another exercise I see guys screw up all the time because they ego lift. They use too much weight or too much resistance on the bands and then they use crummy form and you don't get nearly as much out of the exercise. So it's real straightforward guys. I just come down to my knees, okay, because you want to have some tension already in the bands when your hands are at the top of the movement, okay. So if I was standing up I'd have almost, I'd have no tension at all, right. So, I'm going to come here and I'm going to try to keep my elbows nice and tight and close and I'm going to try to keep them still. I don't want them moving forward and back, okay? I'm going to bend over slightly and I'm just going to look kind of down and in front of my uh, body here and I'm just going to push straight down with those handles until my arms are locked out at my side. And then back up and then down. 
All right, so guys, at, at the top of the movement, there's not nearly as much tension. It's, it's easier to control, but when I get down here, we got a lot of tension, all right? And then I want you at the bottom of movement, try to lock your elbows out. And when you lock your elbows out, flex those triceps. You'll really feel a good burn here, guys. So I'm trying to keep my back straight. I'm trying to keep my elbows nice and still and close to my side. And then I'm controlling those handles all the way up and then slowly all the way down. Then boom, at the bottom, I squeeze it. And to make it a little bit harder, at the bottom, you can do a 1,000, 2,000, and then let the handle slowly back up. 1,000, 2,000, and then back up. So I want you to experiment with different resistance bands, all right? Because this is another thing I see guys make a mistake at uh, on when they're at home doing this with resistance bands. And that's the opposite of ego lifting. They don't use nearly enough resistance, okay? So I'll see guys videotape themselves and they send their the video to me to kind of basically help them and they knock out 15 of these things <laughs> they stand up they're not out of breath okay they're they weren't straining you can see the strain on, on your face and I can tell how hard all right so I want you to pick enough resistance that it is difficult to do for the prescribed number of reps so I don't care if you're if your workout plan calls for 10 reps all right, that's not a lot, so you have to pick a lot of heavy resistance bands so that you're really struggling by the time you get to that 10th rep, all right? If the workout calls for 20 reps, obviously you can't use as much resistance, but I still want you really struggling on that 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th rep, all right? If you get to 20 and you put your hands down and you're not out of breath, then it wasn't hard enough. Okay guys, the second muscle group that Laura said is really important to women, our ass, our butt, our glutes, our derriere, okay? So my opinion as to why that's important, and by the way, I've heard this for decades, okay? Um, and that is, it is a big, giant muscle. I think it signifies, and when it's not just fat, okay, there's a difference between being a fat ass and having a big muscular ass, all right? Right? Right. <laughs> okay. And because it really is, it's a big, giant, really strong muscle group, I think subconsciously it denotes strength and power to women. I think that's kind of what it goes back to for, you know, thousands of years. But, mm -hmm. but anyway, um, I see tons of guys and girls at the gym doing butt specific, glute specific exercises. And guess what? You didn't, you didn't see that five, six, seven years ago. That is a pretty recent phenomena where you have tons of people, especially guys, I see tons of guys doing these glute exercises. So mm -hmm. what is one of your favorite exercises that targets your butt? My all time favorite is the fire hydrant. Um, I love it because it really isolates the butt muscle. So what I do is I get on all fours kind of like a dog at a fire hydrant. <laughs> and you're just gonna kick out your leg like this and kind of flex your butt while it's up in the air and then you're gonna come back down. And you wanna keep your back really straight and you don't want your hip to go up in the air like this and rotate. You wanna try to keep an even plane with your back. Yeah, okay, I know. okay, now that you say that, I'm paying more attention to it, yep. So she's not really twisting her torso and she's not twisting her hips a whole lot. She's trying to raise her knee out to the side. All right, not back, the knee is going straight to the side here and she's trying not to twist her lower part of her body, you know, her ass. She's trying not to, now it's still, it is twisting some, okay? But she's trying to keep her back, okay, and her arms, on the ground without moving too much, right? Right. So guys, this is an exercise that you're really gonna have to focus on and get that mind-muscle connection because you know you can cheat on it, all right? And accidentally cheat, all right? So it won't necessarily be intentional. So really slowly bring that knee up and slowly lower your knee back down. And that's when you're gonna really feel the squeeze in your butt. And that's when you're gonna build those nice big glutes. Now, I have, an exercise you guys could do at home. And this is similar to what we're doing at the gym, okay? 
The thing is, at the gym, we have access to barbells, okay? You can put tons of weight on there. You got, you got um, benches that you can use and all kinds of stuff. Well, I can simulate that at home with nothing more than a single dumbbell and just we're going to be flat on the ground. <sighs> all right, guys, yeah, these are called glute bridges, okay? And I'm going to show you how to do them with body weight only first, okay? So I'm going to lay flat on the back and so bring your feet up until your, your feet are flat on the ground and you got a nice, you know, at least a 90 degree bend in your knees, okay? And all I'm going to do is thrust my hips straight up as high as I can, okay? And then come back down. All right, this is the press movement right here, okay? Now, you're gonna feel tons of stress in your hamstrings and right here in your ass, okay? Those are the two muscles that are contracting to get your hips up, okay? But to make it more difficult, all right, I'm gonna put the heaviest dumbbell I have, which is 50 pounds, right here on my waist. You don't need a pad, it doesn't hurt, okay? Same form, I'm just gonna keep my hands on the dumbbell, all right? Straight up, and then down. Now, when I come down, I just barely touch, okay? I'm not resting. I'm not letting my butt rest on the ground. I just barely can feel it, all right? Because if you, if you rest on the bottom, if you just kind of sit down here, I've taken all the stress off my muscles, okay? So they're doing nothing. They're not engaged at all right now. But if you come off the ground just a quarter of an inch, okay? Now, my hamstrings and my glutes are still engaged and then I can push up as high as I can possibly go and then slowly lower down. Come up, 1,000, 2,000, and then down, don't touch. 1,000, 2,000, don't touch. 1,000, 2,000, and down. And then you just tilt the dumbbell off to the side and you're done. So guys, this particular exercise is much easier than the fire hydrant that Laura was just showing us because the mind-muscle connection is real easy, okay? <laughs> There's not a lot to it. So you guys can use a really heavy weight, as heavy as you can get, okay? Because these are big, giant muscles that we're engaging, so they're really, really strong. So our third muscle group today is back. Now women like a big, a big broad back. It's sexy. Um, it brings on that hourglass figure for women, um, but for men, we just we like that broadness and uh, toneness of a, a nice back. So um, I like to do the back rows, and I use dumbbells to do this. And so I have 15s here. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I just kind of hinge over like this, hinge my hips, or I'm bending over, and I'm going to raise the dumbbells up and back. And I really wanna feel my lats engage as I do this. And sometimes I'll hold it up here a couple seconds. All right, so guys, I just wanna talk about her form here while she's doing this. See how still her upper back is? All right, this is another exercise I see people cheat on all the time. They use too much weight and they yank the weight up and they yank it up by lifting their entire back up and they try to get momentum going, all right? So she's, her head is staying in one position. Her shoulders are not going up and down, all right? The only thing that's moving up and down are her elbows. So guys, what I want you to think about here is bringing your elbows, you're raising your elbows up, okay? And you squeeze it, when you squeeze it at the top, you're gonna feel all these muscles right in here in between your shoulder blades really flex, okay? So she's bringing her elbows up and backwards. She's not bringing them out to the side, okay? And then see how she holds it at the top, okay? So this is a really great exercise because your back has got like 17 different distinct muscle groups that all work together, right? This gets a ton of those muscles and your back is really strong, okay? It's, it's not only big, but there's all these muscles that are, that are working and coordinating with one another. So it means you can actually do a fair amount of weight. But if you do so much weight and you're not, and you haven't developed your core yet, guess what? You'll put a lot of stress on your lower back. Now, one other thing I wanted to point out, I'm gonna to turn to the side here. When she was bending over, she didn't bend over with a rounded kind of a cat back and do it this way. She had her head up, she was looking forward, and she had her back nice and straight, okay? And see how my knees are bent? 
When you bend your knees and keep your back straight, you take a ton of pressure off your lower back. So that is a great way to prevent injury. So remember that. Bend your knees, look forward, and really keep that back straight, and then you can use plenty of weight, okay? Then you just won't feel all that on your lower back. All right, so Laura just showed you how to do some rows, some bent over rows with dumbbells. And once again, your back has got tons of different muscles, which means we need to hit those muscle groups from different angles, okay? That's kind of what it's all about. I really like doing lat pull downs. Now, the best way to do them are with bands, you got to have a high anchor, okay? If you're at a gym, you can do these with the cable machines. They both work fantastic. Now, your lats are this, this big group of muscles right here, that, and this muscle group right here causes your elbow to be pulled down, okay? So you're, if you're doing pull-ups, you're using your lats, along with some other muscle groups in your back. But, but this is great. Now, why do I want to build big lats? because you want a broad back there you go now the other thing about building a broad wide back is it makes your waist look smaller all right so you guys out there that got an extra 10 or 15 pounds to lose around the waist it will it will look like you've lost weight if you can build a wide back and wide shoulders all right so that is a fantastic trick okay because it's all about proportions now I'm just going to be doing these, all right, I like to get down on my butt. Now guys, the reason I get down all the way is because I want to have as much pretension, okay, when I start this exercise. So at the very top of the movement here, see how I've moved away from the door and, and I'm down low? I already have some tension, okay, which means there is some resistance at the very beginning of the movement and I'm just going to basically just be staring at the door and I'm, I'm focusing I'm pulling my elbows down and back. All right, now a lot of guys make the mistake of trying to pull the handles down. Now, I know it sounds like there's no difference there, all right? But if you really mentally think about get those elbows down low and back behind you as far as you can, you will feel a difference, okay? So when you come down, one, two, let it up slowly. Come down, one, two, up slowly. Now, <laughs> all right, now one thing I want you guys to remember, and that is pick a lot of resistance, all right? Because this is a big, strong group of muscles here, and I see guys use, you know, two bands, okay? And I see them, they get to 15 reps, and done, let's go on to the next set, all right? And they pop up, and they're not even tired, okay? So I was using three bands there, which was not nearly enough for me, but I used a lighter resistance than I should have just so I could talk, okay, to you guys and explain the form. So if I was really doing a full workout here, I would load this up with as many bands as I possibly can because when I come down, I mean, I want to just be struggling so hard, okay, on every rep. And then if I can get to 15, all right, even though I'm supposed to do 10, if I can keep going, keep going. I want you guys to get close to failure, all right? On every set, it's all about pushing yourself, all right? So if you push yourself hard, you're gonna get a whole lot more out of it. All right, Laura, now, is it just you that thinks that arms, back, and butt are the three sexy body parts on men, or is it consensus? I would definitely say it's general consensus of women. All right, guys, you heard it, all right? Laura is a competitor. She knows what she's talking about. And by the way, that's what I've heard from lots of girls over the years. So anyway, guys, you're not going to get big arms and a big wide back and really good looking ass overnight, which means you got to stick with it and never give up on yourself.